Hi, this is Dave, Fell Running Guide. I've got a navigation skills tutorial for you here to help you understand how heights are shown on maps. So I'm going to be talking about contour intervals, index contours and spot heights. I've made the tutorial using Anket mapping software with extracts of that uh, and that's in agreement with Harvey Maps. So what are contour intervals? Well, think about them as what the contours go up in. Uh, now that depends on the map. This is the Ordnance Survey 1 to 25,000 map. Um, and sometimes on this map, the contours go up in five meter intervals. That's usually where the land's flatter. And in that case, the contour heights always end in a zero or a five. So you can see there 70, 75, 80, 85, 90. So those are going up in five meter intervals. But also on Orden Survey, in hillier areas, the contour interval is 10 meters. So the contours here always end in a, always have a zero value, last digit. You can see there. For example, 500, 510, 520, 530, etc. On an Orden survey 1 to 50,000, the vertical interval is 10 meters. And the contour heights always end in a zero. You can see here 350, 360, 370, 380, etc. OK, so this is what you need to be aware of. You can't have a contour line that doesn't have a height that ends in a zero or a five. So you can't have a contour line that's the 323 meter contour. It's got to end in a zero or a five. OK, what about index contours? Well, on Ordnance Survey maps, every fifth contour is bold it's slightly darker or thicker than the into the other contour lines so here you can see two there those are bold contours now if the vertical interval is five meters then the index contours have got to go up in multiples of 25 so for example starting at zero you'd have 25 50 75 100 etc Right, I just want you to have a look at that height circled there because we're going to come on to that in a moment. So just remember that. OK, again, every fifth contour is bold on the maps where the vertical interval is 10 metres. So you can see there the 400, the 450, the 500, the 550 contour lines are slightly thicker than the other ones. Uh, and here the index contours have got to go up in multiples of 50. So if you started at sea level, you'd have 50, 100, 150, etc. So to sum that up, you can't have an index contour that isn't a multiple of 25. So on an Ordnance Survey map, you couldn't be looking at a contour line and, it, and notice it was a thicker line the, than the others and say, well, oh, that is the 330 contour. It could be maybe a 325 if there were vertical intervals of five meters, or it could be a 350, but it's got to be a multiple of 25. What about Harvey maps? Well, regardless of whether it's the one to 25,000 or the one to 40,000, the vertical interval on these maps is 15 meters. So they go up in 15s, and obviously have to end in either a zero or a five. Now, they're not the individual contour values aren't shown here it's only the index contours that are shown so if we start with the 300 meter then what you've got to do is work out yourself the uh, the intermediate contours so the next one is going to be 315 330 345 and then there's a 360 just tucked in there very tight and then the next index contour 375 
in terms of the index contours well again every fifth contour is bold slightly darker or thicker than the intermediate ones this time they go up in multiples of 75 so we just discussed that the individual contours go up in 15s so 5 15s is 75 so there we have it 300 375 450 525 Okay, so to sum up with Harvey maps, you can't have a contour line that doesn't end in a zero or a five. And on Harvey maps, you can't have an index contour that isn't a multiple of 75. They go up in 75s. Okay, so you remember that 102 height that I showed you before? Well, it ends in a 2, not a 0 or a 5, so it can't be a contour value. So what is it? It's what we call a spot height. Now, spot heights are precise locations that have been accurately surveyed. So they're known heights above sea level that are shown on the map. So they may be summits, they might be trig points, but they also might be just locations where there's nothing to see on the ground. So you wouldn't know that you're there at all. So there's a trig point. And then there are a couple more spot heights. And then there's another one there, 64. Now you notice that one is shown in black, where the 74 and 91 and the 102 are in orange. And then the 117 trig point is black. Now that's just the way that they're surveyed. Air surveys are done and shown in orange, whereas land surveys are done and shown in black. What about the 1 to 50,000 map? Well, there you can see a spot height. And we've got another one there. So again, you see those are ending in just any number 253. So it's a measured height on that road known to be 253 meters above sea level. There, 521, so it's a height, but it's not the summit. So as I said before, they're not necessarily summits. What about the Harvey's map? This is the Harvey 1 to 25,000. And again, you can see we've got spot heights shown there. So to summarize that, summits, trig points, and surveyed spot heights are the only places on a map that are shown where they'll have a height that ends in anything other than a zero or a five. So I hope that just clarified a few things. Um, thanks for watching and look out for more of these navigation skills tutorials.